badass character, for me, it gives me justifi justification in being who I am. Because um, although, you know, the, the Ziggy character, when David Bowie created Ziggy, it was, um, he was here to save the planet because the planet only had five years left, hence the song Five Years. And he was, he, he invented uh, Ziggy to come and uh, save, save the planet. But um, he got, um, um, in his travels, he was corrupted and he ended up getting into sex and drugs and, and rock and roll, a normal lifestyle, and um, he turned into a bit of a deviant. So I guess I'm all of those things. You know, I think he was just so ahead of his time and he was, when I look at some of his early stuff, he was really in drag and at the period that he was doing that, it was just unheard of um, and I think he was really brave and not only that but he was also a really great musician and he was an actor and um, he just combined it all and you know he was the first one to do it and uh, it makes him a star. Well, he was always there and I guess uh where, when I became really aware of Bowie was um, when uh, in, in the sort of mid 80s when he was doing things like um, Let's Dance and you know China Girl and all those sorts of things and, 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 and I thought yeah um, that, that sort of again because that funk influence that he had there that kind of that dancey thing and I know lots of Bowie aficionados go no 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 that's all that's not real Bowie real Bowie is early 70s stuff. But I sort of dug that and from there discovered his earlier stuff. First, firstly the music. Um, you know, take a song like Life on Mars for instance. It's just it's phenomenal. It's genius. And then I guess, uh, you know, captivates you, you, know, you visually with um, you know, the, the colour. Uh, the Ziggy character actually Enveloped the whole glam thing, even though there, you know people were wearing uh, makeup, males were wearing makeup, and, uh, and probably dressing up in a glam sort of style before then. He justified the whole movement, I think, and I think a lot of people associate Ziggy Stardust with the beginning and the epitome of uh, glam rock. Yeah, that's good. Yeah.